So this question looks like it's going to be a system of equations question. The question itself says in the given pair of equations, A and B are constants. The graph of this pair of equations in the xy plane is a pair of perpendicular lines. So let me just stop there. So if I were to graph equation one and I graphed equation two, those lines would be perpendicular to each other, right? And perpendicular just means they form a 90 degree angle. But perpendicular also means that the slope, right? So whatever M is here, it's going to be negative one over that M value here, which is just the same as saying the slopes of perpendicular lines are opposite sign, right? So negative reciprocal, which is why I have one over M. So I want to make sure I understood that before moving on. The next part of the question says, which of the following pairs of equations also represents a pair of perpendicular lines? So in each of these answer choices, I have an equation one with actual coefficients in front of x and y. Looks like a, b, and c are all 10x plus 7y equals 1. And then choice d is 5x minus 7y. But if, again, for all of the options, I also have just have a and b in um, the second equation. So that tells me that I need to know what A and B are. So I'm going to use the question provided, or I'm going to use the equations provided, I should say. And I'm going to rewrite this first equation into a format that makes it easy for me to determine the slope. So to do that, I am going to subtract 5x from both sides of the equation. And I'm going to be left with 7y equals negative 5x plus 1. And then I'm going to divide everything by 7. So I now know that the slope-intercept form of equation 1 here is y equals negative 5 sevenths x plus 1 seventh. That's important because that tells me that when I convert this second equation, and I'll use a different color, into slope-intercept form by subtracting ax from both sides, leaving me with by equals negative ax plus 1 dividing everything by b. So the slope-intercept form for the second equation would be y equals negative a over b x plus 1 over b. I know, right, so this is my slope for the first equation, m. So I know that this slope here, this negative a over b, has to be the opposite reciprocal of the slope in the first equation. So it has to be 7 fifths. And if 7 fifths is equal to negative a over b, that tells me that a can equal negative 7 and b can equal positive 5. All right, so all of that work gets me this information here. And now I'm going to utilize this information in my answer choices. So what I'm going to do for each of these answer choices is I'm going to convert them into slope-intercept form. And this is, this is where, you know, the test is actually helping us out by having the first equation for A, B, and C all be the same. So if I do the work one time, and I'll do it a little bit faster this time. Um, in fact, I'll do it a lot faster. So here, for slope-intercept form, I'd have Y equals, I would have taken my 10X from the left to right, making it negative 10, dividing both sides by 7. I'd have negative 10 seventh X plus 1 over 7. I know that when I convert this one over, and let's see, maybe take my time a bit more with this one, I'd have, uh, let's see, y equals, I would have brought my negative, my ax over, so negative ax, dividing both sides by negative 2b, so it becomes a negative 2b here, and a minus 1 over 2b, which means these both become positive. I know now that if, if choice A is the correct answer, that would mean that A over 2B should equal positive 7 over 10, right? Because that would be the opposite reciprocal of the slope in the first equation. And don't forget, what we're trying to figure out is, the, does the slope in the first equation, is it going to be the opposite reciprocal slope in the second equation? Because that's what's necessary to have perpendicular lines, which is what the question says. So is this true? Well, um, it's almost true 
because we have a as negative 7, so this becomes negative 7 over 2 times b will be as 5, so 2 times 5 is 10. So it's negative 7 over 10, it's not positive 7 over 10. So for that reason, a is gone. But here's why I like it. Again, choice b is going to give me the exact same y inter or a slope intercept form, y equals negative 10 over 7, x plus 1 over 7. But for the second equation, we see the sign has been flipped from negative to positive, and that's going to give me y equals um, negative a over 2bx plus 1 over 2b. And now that means I'm asking, is it true that a over, is it true that negative a over 2b equals positive 7? over 10, that is going to be true, right? Because I know that a, so again, negative a is going to be equal to negative negative 7, and 2b is going to be equal to 2 times 5, and that is, in fact, 7 over 10. So the correct answer here is choice b. I know that took a while for the video because I'm trying to explain every single detail. It would not take you this long on the actual test if you understood that what you're looking for is for the second equation to be the negative reciprocal of the slope that you find in the first equation. And as much as it might feel like it's going to take a lot of time, if we had to go through each of these options, which in case we, it would have taken a lot more time for you. Um, but typically on the SAT, when that process is kind of the best uh, foot forward in terms of solving, the answer will usually be either A or B. Right? So you won't actually have to try it on every single option. So our correct answer here is B. If you have any questions, please do leave a comment.